Hey YouTube, Spencer here with Minds Counseling and Skill Center. Thank you all for tuning in today. Here is a video. I've got four very simple, practically free things you guys can do to improve your mental state of being. Uh, and this really, I mean, these four activities are really quite universal. Um, even if you're not completely suffering and you're just, you, 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 you're like, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I'm just, I feel kind of stuck. These are for you guys. Um, I've, I've seen these work both in my own life, in my friends, families, and then also I've, I've applied this into my own uh, work uh, with youth mental health. And so uh, let's jump right into it. So these are, these are truly simple things, <clears throat> excuse me, to improve our mental well-being. Okay. And first off, navigating through nature. We've got, you know, we're born with two legs, and, and I, in my opinion, I think we're, our purpose is to use them. Uh, and it goes, you know, this plays into our body-mind connection, but there's, there's research done about the psychological effects of simply just walking in a bipedal movement, you know, nice and regulated. Um, it is regulating. If you're feeling, you know, pent up with a lot of anxiety, stress, or if you're even feeling down and, and feeling sad, depressed, truly getting out and just navigating through nature. I mean, even just looking at this photo just makes me want to go out, uh, go out and do a little adventure of my, on my own right now. Um, but it's truly a, it, it's something that it's so to our core, um, of being part of the natural world is just navigating through nature and just, and that can be, and I think in my opinion, the, the more nature, the better. Right. And so y there's levels to this, you know, you can go for a walk around the sidewalk, you know, in town, but I think even better if you can escape to some nature trails, uh, out into a wood, a woods type, uh, environment. I think that is just so, so helpful in so many different ways. And, Truly, it's it, it's it's a it should be it should be mostly free. Uh, if you live in America, uh, we have a lot of nature available. Luckily, uh, very something I'm thankful for in this country is we do have a lot of great nature, and I think it's important that we utilize this. And so that's our first one: navigating through nature. Second one: this one might this one might be a little interesting, but it's play catch with somebody else, and. I this one's great for multiple reasons and it's it's something I've done in my mental health work uh, with youth and it's there's something really um, primal uh, it engages a certain level of play uh, it's a it's, it's a language of play to be able to throw something uh, in such a way that the other person can catch it right and it's and, and and you can kind of play what i love about catch is you can you can you can play with the you can push the limits or then and then dial it back it can, it can be really a cooperative game uh and and playing catch you know if you were to just spike the ball at their feet it's like that's not going to be a very fun game right and so you inherently come up with ways to cooperatively and creatively push each other's boundaries uh, in, in a, in a, in sort of a feedback loop manner. And I just think about all, you know, so many times, uh, you know, working with kids that are struggling to put words of how they're feeling and, and, you know, building that, building that report, it, it becomes so easy. Just, just starting playing a simple game of catch with a Nerf ball back and forth while we're sitting in our chairs. And it, it really just, I think it, it kind of, it, it cuts through a lot of the emotional and uh, cognitive blocks we put in ourselves. And so playing catch with somebody. Um, and of course the, the other, the other important factor about this one is yeah, it's a relational activity, right? You need somebody else there to play catch with. And so when you are engaging in the activity, you have to play that game in a way that somebody will want to keep, voluntarily repeating 
And so that comes with a whole sort of um, a whole assortment of relational social skills and, and benefits. And so that's number two. Number three is to improve and in, in, in practice and apply your writing skills. And this has been somewhat of a recent development for me. Um, and and really writing pen to paper, pencil to paper, not typing on the keyboard. There's something there's something different about the tactile, you know, really sensing the the movements of your pen on that paper. And when people think of writing, um, I know I did. You know, I often thought about oh, writing. I mean, I, I'm not a writer. I don't want to write stories. I don't need to do that, this and that. But what I've learned is the the power of the pen goes far beyond just stories i mean even just writing little sticky notes to myself in um writing can be so practical uh that's what i've actually discovered is it it doesn't it doesn't have to be an artistic or a expressive endeavor it can be super practical and pragmatic to improve your writing skills and uh And I think it's uh, it was Jordan Peterson who says, you know, in, in order to write, you have to be able to think. And so by practicing writing, you're practicing how to constant how to think and how to concentrate your thoughts. And, and, and another therapeutic benefit of writing is. It's such a great outlet for taking all of this abstract psychological philosophical ethical moral all of these things that we deal with in the counseling and in in mental health world and it actually it's it turns them into reality it actually it demystifies things right and so when we when we have all these thoughts scattered around in our brain and and we actually go to put them down on paper it brings a certain level of clarity and it, it's it's been proven to be such a positive outlet for so many people and so i think anybody can can pick up writing uh and it doesn't have to be in some emotional artistic uh story filled way it can really be a practical skill to improve your life um and so that's that's our third one Number four and our final one for this video is to listen and, and, and to play music. And music is, is just, it's just that art form. Uh, it seems that no matter the person, no matter the, the background, the, you know, socioeconomic status, the, the educational background, there's something about music that, that really cuts to the human core. Um, and we can think about music as a tool for our mental health, right? Um, off the, you know, right off the cusp, we can just take a, we can analyze what music we are currently listening to, or what are we drawn to in this moment and in, in, in this season of our life. And so often music is in the lyrics that we are drawn to is such a reflection, right? Of our inner world. Um, and so just by starting to analyze what music we are listening to, I think we can start to gain a better understanding of, oh, this is, yeah, maybe, maybe I have been <laughs> looking at my playlist. Maybe I have been feeling some type of way. Uh, yeah, may, maybe I should, maybe I should consider why that is, or is this serving me in the best way possible? Um, you know, listening to music is, is such a cathartic tool um, for emotional expression, um, for being productive. Uh, we use, we can use it to really focus, to study. Um, it can add just such a wonderful color to our world, music. And it's it's something that I, I think can't be stated enough. And, and, and the second part of this is I encourage everybody listening Everybody that listens to music, I think, should dabble with playing their music, playing music. And, and what I mean by that is, 
I think everybody can can start to pick up the rhythms and the drums of any type of music that they listen to. Uh, and truth be told, I, I'm a I'm a musician and a drummer myself, but what I've learned is even the most distant musically distant person uh who you know who they said oh i would I, you know i suck at music i can't play music but i like music even those people if cultivated the sense of rhythm is within all of us right and it's 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 becoming it, it's the idea of becoming more attuned with just ri the rhythms of yourself your body and the rhythms of the of the world and music um music is such an excellent way to practice that sort of stuff and it's if you find if you're somebody who's very reactive um constantly feeling like you're on the defense always kind of reacting to people and, and to situations around you try try tapping along even try just tapping along on your lap to to one of your favorite songs don't react to the beat, but instead anticipate, catch on to the flow of the beat, and notice what that does to your body. Being in sync with something, as opposed to a pa pa, you know, a cause effect, a situation, a reaction. Music has such a, and I, and I think rhythm specifically has a synchronistic effect that can be so regulating for our mental health uh and so those are our four activities that are truly simple um i think they're i think they're really quite universal i think they can work with almost anybody uh, they're quite accessible to almost anybody no matter where you live no matter you know your your economic status and uh just to review uh the the first one is navigating through nature the second one is playing catch with somebody else. The third one is to improve our writing skills in both the practical and also the, the, the artistic and expressive sense. And then also to listen and to start playing and to start embodying some of the rhythms of the music that, that, that's in our lives. And so these are four things that, in my view, can positively benefit our our mental health it's something that has greatly benefited me uh i've used it in my professional career and it's it's something that i think these four are just something that are they're just tried and true and i encourage you all to if you're feeling stuck or not knowing what to do next or what to, you know what to do with your time pick one of these pick one of these and just go for it see what happens take note all right, that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos, and I will see you next time. Thanks.